Hey everybody, Benny the Beast here with another Beat Saber mapping tutorial series. This is going to be a remake of the original series that I made from four months ago that helps you get started really quick and easily in Beat Saber. But this time, we're going to be using Mediocre Mapper, the one that I use in the latest one for variable BPM. I'll give you the link to this site, grab that zip file, and I also want to recommend two other pieces of software, Audacity, which will be your music editor, and 7-Zip, which we'll use to extract, but also compress your files to upload to Beat Saber. So with Mediocre Mapper, you can go ahead and show in folder, extract that, and then place that folder wherever you want to work on your maps. So I'm just cutting it, and I'm pasting it on my desktop, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So when you first boot it up, it'll look like this. You wanna grab your Beat Saber install folder. What that is, is wherever you have the Beat Saber game. And generally, if you're on Steam, it'll be in your C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Beat Saber, and you can grab that link there. And you can copy paste that, otherwise, if you're using the Oculus Store, I'm not sure what it is, but you just type Beat Saber and search for that folder and find that on your own. And there's a third way, if you want, if you don't have the game, you can still map. So just create a new folder, call it Beat Saber, open it up, grab that link. All it is is clicking in there, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and hit apply and then you can, get to, you can get started mapping. So the song that I wanna map today is gonna be Heart of Fire featuring Strix by Def Quap. We're going to create the beat Sangha and then click this to get started. Input all the information that you know. Def Quap, Benny the Beast. BPM, well, let's go find that BPM. So what you can do is search Heart of Fire featuring Strix BPM. Let's see, there's a few that pop up. Beatport, maybe that has it too. Uh, Heart of Fire, this one says 200, 200, 200, 100, 100, who knows. Uh, so it's either 100, 200, 100 kind of slow, 200 super fast, but what we can do is tap out the BPM. You can find a tool for that. And then this will let you know how you like to count. And if you want to tap faster or slower, it's up to you. They both work. So let's just put it, put it in the middle of the song and uh, find that BPM. So it looks like 100 is what suits me, but if you want to tap faster, you can also do that. So let's see what a 200 would look like. So, it's not a perfect method. Hopefully, you can find the BPM number and then have a gauge so that you know where it is. So, we're just going to use 100. I like that one better. 200 is a bit too fast, so the notes are just going to be coming at you quick. Preview start time, 12. Preview duration, 10. Go ahead and leave that where it is. Cover image name. This one's important. So, let's pull up uh, the image. And what I used to do was just use the snipping tool to grab this, but I like to use this method now, so it's much easier. Inspect it, and then just highlight that URL of the song, paste it in your URL, and boom, now you have one that you can actually save. So, go to the desktop, the Beat Saber folder that you're working in, and find that song folder itself. And then just name it to make things easy, cover. 
This is a JPEG. Make sure you note which file type you're saving it as. Go ahead and save that. Cool beans. Open up paint because we need to make sure it is a 256 by 256 image. So go in here, go to resize, hit pixels, and you'll see that it's 500 by 500. Go ahead and edit that, make 256 by 256, and then save that again, and you are good to go. So, cover.jpg, this one's all set. Environment name, you can choose which type of environment you want to use. I would suggest just jumping in there, playing with them, and seeing which one you like. Then you get over here, you can add a difficulty. Let's go ahead and select it, just to make sure we have it. Change difficulty to whichever one you want to make first, and then audio file name and start offset. Uh, we'll get into those. I just like to hit apply, make sure I'm saving everything as I go. So let's get the song set up. Pull up Audacity, and then pull up the song wherever you downloaded it. Uh, I haven't downloaded it yet, so let's go ahead and grab it. And download it. And then, okay, I'm showing it in the folder. And then I can just drop that into Audacity and get started. One quick note, if your file is, let's see, if your file's an MP3, what you might need to do is go into iTunes. If it's not opening in Audacity, pull up your song uh, or import it, and then go to File, Convert, and create a wave version. This wave version is then what you can drop, you can use to drop into Audacity if your Audacity doesn't like MP3 files. And once we're in here, now it's time for the fun work. Tracks. Add a new track, mono track. Generate a rhythm track in that mono track. The tempo is your beats per minute, so it was 100. Just leave it at four. This is generally how songs uh, are typically built. And number of measures, you can leave that at 100 too. Cool. So there is the rhythm track. Okay. There's two ways you can go about this. The first way, you can move the song track and set it to the BPM so that you can leave your start offset, this number right here, you can leave it at zero. Also, one important thing about adjusting the song track is sometimes songs look like this, where they start instantly when you hit play. And what you want to do here is instead of putting notes in this whole front section is you want to back your song up. You want to grab the cursor, grab that area, and generate silence. And then what this does is it allows you to start putting notes later so that they're not smashing people in the face right up front. So what that looks like is this. You'll grab it. You'll adjust it to find uh, where it lines up with the BPM. While you and me repeat. So it looks like it lines up hmm, just about, I think it's this. While you and me repeat, this bittersweet heat is suffocating. Actually, I think it lines up here. Maybe on this one. Might feel a little bit better. Sweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire. So that sounds good to me. And since we adjusted this song track, whenever you export it, file, export, OGG, um, find that folder that you're using, custom songs, heart of fire, and then just to make things simple and easy, just name it song. Bada bing, bada boom. Export. And then this is already set up, it's song. 
and then .ogg is your file extension. You don't have to change a dang thing. Start offset is zero. Looks good. Apply modifications, and you can get to editing. But on the other hand, if you want to use the offset, what that looks like is this, where you essentially move this to line it up with the track. Um, let's find where was that section that really made sense right there or was it here somewhere in between is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating kryptonite desires that sounds good to me so this little adjustment that you'll see up at the front if you zoom in you can actually grab that offset and see exactly what it's at. So it looks like, let's zoom in one more, 75, 76, 77 milliseconds is what your number is. And so you go in here, type 77, hit apply. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You need to save uh, the track out in that position where you haven't touched it, it hasn't moved. And so when you save it here, save it again as song, this will let you do the offset. Okay, so this is all set up. Hopefully that makes sense. It might've gotten a little hairy doing two methods back to back like that, but hopefully you can parse it. And then once you edit level, you should be good to go. And so what I'm doing here is I'm placing notes at every beat just to see if it sounds on beat. You scroll and click, and if you don't have uh, the red note, it should be automatically highlighted. Um, one is for the red note, two is the blue note, three is mine. And if you're not he hearing the tick, this is your options bar up here, and note sound tick, and hit volume turn that all the way up so that'll be your note sound so you can scroll through place down some notes and then one other cool feature you can do playback speed let's just set it to 0.5 so you can see you can make this really slow Oh my god, that's so funny. I feel like my brain was thinking in slow motion. So let's check uh, another section real quick. Let's go about to the middle of the song where they're just pumping. With crimson sea. Okay. Place down some notes and then scroll through it and see how well it lines up. Cool. You know what? That looks good to me. I think you are now ready to start mapping now that you've set up your song. Have fun.